All right, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Football with the worst team we possibly could have assembled. Maybe we could have done a few different variations, but it, it's a pretty bad team. It's a pretty bad team, but we did manage to win our first game of the season, 17-6 to over the Bills. Now, again, from going back to the last episode, we're not using power-ups, and we are also, you know, not going to be... Um, you know, we're, we're not going to use any power-ups on offense or defense to get any more points. And we once we chose the what the uh, the lowest attributes possible for all our players. Now, I am putting them in their best position, so it's not like I'm playing them out of their positions. Like Ronnie, his stats were best suited to quarterback, so I am playing him in his best suited position. But I did pick the lowest uh, attributes that I could find out there um, in when we drafted our team, but. Honestly, in that first game, Ronnie played really well. Way better than I would have expected him at quarterback. I mean, he was slinging it. He was throwing some some deep shots to Billy Jean and Amir and Gretchen. I mean, they did we did start to kind of fade in the second half, but I'll take a 17-6 win any day of the week. Um But yeah, it I uh they did get at one power up the Hocus Pocus, but Gretchen made a great play and intercepted that. So again, we're leave we're, we'll leave power ups on just so that the computer has the option of using a power up, but we're not going to use them when we get them. It, we had a ton of power ups available. We could have won by way more if I used them, but we're not going to use them. But we're playing the Hornets in this one. They are 0 and 1, so they lost their first game of the season, and um, so I, I don't know who they have on their team. I guess we'll find out when we hop in, but. We're going to leave everything the same way as it was. Um, obviously, we're going to leave it on hard, uh, random weather, all that weather effects and whatnot. But, yeah, I think uh, think other than that, we're, we're looking pretty good here. So let us hop into game number two. Ready to have fun, kiddos? Well, I hope so, because it's football time. Prepare yourself for another titanic football event. Welcome to Parks Department Field Number 3, where the snow has just started to fall on the field. This game is an important matchup between two of the top league teams, the Humongous Hornet versus the Silly Pigskins. I'm Sunny Day, together with my pal Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Sunny. I'm glad to be here. People often ask me, hey, Chuck, why do they call it Pigskin? Well, I'll tell you, buddy. In my day, we didn't use a football. Nope, we played with an actual pig. Yeah, we called it pig ball. Boy, you haven't lived till you've seen a pig flying 50 yards downfield for a touchdown. But then the pig started complaining about not getting enough money, so they quit, and we had to start using those footballs. I tell you, buddy, the game just wasn't the same without those pigs. Bless them. As my co-host Chuck Downfield would say, enough talking. Let's start rocking. All right, here we go. Game number two against the humongous Hornets. We are getting the ball to start off this game here. From the 40, Jocinda. Looks like we're going against Jocinda Amiga, and Ernie. Eve, drops on the 36. Collects it at the 26 yard All right. Line. It's so another snow game, which means you know there's going to be a lot of misplays, a lot of fumbles and whatnot. But we're going to go back to our lunch pail. Seems to be our most reliable play. The pigskin will start at the 41. Gretchen's Drops open. To pass. She Why does make the catch. She does fall down. That's the one thing about Gretchen. She can't, she can't stay on her feet. Jacinda was the first to get there. Brings up second down. J Gretchen just can't stay on her feet. That's the, that's the only problem. Uh, running that play. But we do get pick up seven on the play there. Long drop. All right. Just give it over to Gretchen. She does fall down, but she gets back up. Gets some more yards there. Six yards on the game. Let's try slices. We just need seven yards here to pick up this first down. Or even less. We can go for it on, th on fourth. Going to throw. Billy Jean. It to the she oh, does come down with it. Can she go all the way? Billy Jean. She's inside the 20. Inside the 10. Oh no. Oh, but we're in there. 
<laughs> what a crazy play. What a crazy play. Billie Jean was so close to getting the touchdown. She fumbles at the goal line. Gretchen, though, picks it up over the line, and the Pigskins get the first touchdown of the game. Crazy play there to start off this game. Jorge makes the extra point. Oh, unfortunately, that doesn't count as a touchdown for Ronnie Dobbs, but we'll take the seven points however they come. See if our defense can uh, can step up now after that big first first uh, first drive touchdown. Here come the Hornets from the. All right, they got Paco. Back to throw. We know Ernie Steele's a good quarter or a good receiver. Ooh, but Amir Khan makes the interception. The pigskins will take over. All right, pretty good start here for the Pigskins. Up seven, nothing. Interception in the first play. Gretchen's open again. She does come down with it once again. Oh, nice grab! I mean, we we have racked up a couple of power ups already. That's what I mean. Like if we. If I was using power-ups, I definitely think we would have been win a lot easier, but we're not going to be doing that. Ooh, Gretchen gets stuffed. Plus four. All right, back to third and seven. Get it to Billie Jean. Oh, tough. Right off the hands. All right, we'll try Noodle. We'll try going for it here. At the 39-yard line. Drops back. Uh, that might be a little Run. too far. Oh, perfect. Right in stride to Amir Khan, and he gets in the end zone on fourth and seven. Ronnie Dobbs is slinging it out there, man. Wow, I mean, like, we, like, I did not expect this team to be this play this well. I really did not. We are playing fantastic right now. Literally, we're, we're off to a better start than last game, and I was very satisfied with our last game effort. Literally couldn't have asked for a better start. Picture perfect here. The, the silly pigskins are not messing around. There's nothing silly about this start to this game. The Hornets have it at the 33. All right, the, the Hornets find themselves down. Oh, what happened? Oh, we do not have speed. Ooh, Billy Jean saved the touchdown. That's amazing. That is a first. I think I accidentally switched characters when I was trying to make the tackle, and I ended up just moving everyone out the way. Ooh, Angelo with the sack. Wabble, babble. That QB just got flattened. Second down. Second and long. As soon as we play a team with good speed, though, we're in trouble. Angela, back to back sacks. With a little help from her friends to get that QB. Yeah, as soon as like we go against a team with a lot of speed, it's gonna it's gonna be a struggle. But as of right now, nothing nothing really uh to worry about with this the Hornets here. I I would have expected a more of a fight against Julie Dunkel in the last episode, but ooh, Gretchen, she had the corner. 19 Just seconds left. The first to get there. All right, so far so good. Back to lunch pail. The pigskin will begin at the. Corrections open again. Back, oh no! Turn the ball over. Jocinda that? makes a great play on the ball. The that the hell that that stayed up in the air a little bit too long. Don't worry about it, Ronnie. Will start at their own first interception of the year. Paco, back to pass. Paco, uh oh. Amir gets Amir it back, though. The the Only six over. seconds left. Not much time to do uh, really much of anything. Just get it over to Gretchen. She finally catches it without falling down. That eighty ho football fans, it's halftime, and the Pigskins take the lead into the locker room. Fourteen zero. A good start by the home team. Now's the time of the program where I like to reflect on what I like to call my thoughts. In this league, Sonny, no lead is ever safe. These kids today are fast. They run like fish in the water, and they can score a lot of points quickly. Well, let's see some more football. All right, pretty solid half. We did get that one interception, but 
uh, from Ronnie. But other than that, pretty solid start. Up 14 nothing at halftime. We are giving up the ball, though. But still, the way our defense has been playing, and I don't really think they have too many playmakers on this team. Not really too much. I don't think they had too much speed we have to worry about. I think we're in a pretty good spot. As long as we can take care of the ball here, maybe get one more score here, we should be good. Oh, no. As soon as I said something, Ernie Steele breaks through our entire defense, and we do not have enough speed to catch up to him. Our team is very slow, and Ernie Steele is going to get the Hornets right back into this game. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If we uh, we don't have too many playmakers on defense, as soon as someone breaks the tackle, they're, they're off to the races. We do not have, we do not have much speed. All right, and they're, the Hornets are back in it. They're only down by one touchdown now. It's a, it's a huge play for them. All right, the pressure is now back on us, back on the pigskins. And remember, we're not using any power-ups, so... We're going to have to get get move down the field legit. Let's try Noodle again. Let's see if we can get it. Trying to throw it outside to Amir. Yeah, a little too far. A little too far out in front. Alright, we'll go back to Lunch Pail. See if we can get uh, Gretchen out here. Long drop. Looking over the middle. Gretchen does it. come down what with it. That kid must have fly paper on his hands. Hold on for Third and game. six. Let's Third go back to slices here. here. The pig skins. Back Amir's back. open, I think. Run Amir run does come down, down with it. And we move those chains for a first down. <laughs> I really want to look I mean look how many power ups we have. It's so tempting to use some of these, but we're not we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Let's try this crisscross play. From the forty seven yard line. Long drop. Billy Jean, she does come down with it. All right, we're we're methodically moving our way down the field. We are nickeling and diming our way down the field. All right. Um, I wish we could run the ball, but I don't think we have really any good running plays. Going to throw. Over to Gretchen. She does come down with it. Another first down. That kid must have flypaper on his hands. Complete for about seven yards. Enough for the first. All right, now let's go for the touchdown here. Now let's let's take our shot at the end zone here. Drops back. Oh no, not. Had to just had to get rid of it. Nothing wrong with that. Gain of three. That is it for the third quarter. I think we're in field goal range. It's close. If we can get a field goal here. I feel pretty good. Going to throw. Amir comes down with it. All right, we're getting. We're moving. Brings up third down. Yeah, I'm. Just... Yeah, we'll go back to lunch pail. I don't know if we'll get enough yards, but. Going Billie to Jean, she's, she has a step, and she's got it. What a drive. What a drive by the Pigskins moving their way down the field. Billy Jean comes up with a huge touchdown to go up by two scores. That was that was a big touchdown drive. That was that was good. That was a very, very good drive by the Pigskins here. Very nice, methodical drive by Ronnie Dobbs. Jorge knocks through the extra point, and we are up 21-7. We wasted pretty much an entire quarter there as well. We'll be doing the kicking. Ernie, waiting for the kick. We'll bring it back from the 13-yard line. All right, 44 seconds left. All we have to do is just, you know, not give up the big play again. Good tackle, Billy Jean. For no gain. Second down. Hut, hut, 42. Let's hike. I've got Paco. Uh, Another okay. sack for Angela. Angela. Wabble, babble. That QB just got flattened. Right. Hut, hut, left. Hut, hut, left. I got this guy. Fades back to pass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, saw that one coming. Ernie Steele is, uh, he's got the receiving stats, he's got the height. They do have a power-up as well. Tosses it back 
to Jacinda. Knifing through okay, Gretchen made the tackle. The right, they're they're wasting end. time, though. They're definitely Second wasting down. a lot of time. On the Hornet, 42-yard line. Oh, no. Ernie's wide open. Ooh, big tackle. Is that Amir? First down. I have not seen Boom do a thing this game. I have not seen Boom Boom do a thing. Drops back. Ooh, big sack from Angela. How many sacks does Angela have now? I mean, she's, she's eating on defense right now. Gretchen makes a big tackle. All right, third down. I would assume if they have a power up, they're going to use it here. I would assume so. Throws it to the flat. Ernie, oh wow, Ernie comes down with it. Ernie, wow, what a what a what a play from Ernie Steele, man. Bobbling catch, juggles it, still comes down with it. Yeah, Ernie Steele, he's uh he's definitely um a good receiver in this game, but only seven seconds left. I think we should be fine. Just got a no turnovers here, and we should be good. Picture perfect kick, Sadie. As long as we don't turn the ball over here, this kickoff should take. Oh, they went for the onside. Billy Jean, four seconds left. All right. Let's just uh, let's just run the ball here. Um, inside out, sure. Here come the pigskins from the. Gretchen, that's actually a pretty good run. That's gonna end the game. Yep. All right, pigskins take game number two. That's it, folks. The pigskins come out on top. 21-14. The better team won today. Their running game just never got started. That's a wrap. Until next time, this is Sunny Day and Chuck Downfield. Goodbye, folks. All right, another win in the books. The pigskins are now 2-0 on the season. And again, we've done it without using a single power-up and with this misfit group of players. But I'm telling you, they they... For not having the great stats, Ronnie Dobbs has looked pretty good this year. Gretchen, seven catches for 103 yards. She went over the 100-yard mark. She is very reliable on those dump-offs and on the lunch pails. Amir, though, three big catches for 54 yards with a touchdown as well. He had a couple of important ones. And Billie Jean, she came down with a big touchdown there. At, uh, to you know, get go up by two scores, which ended up being the go ahead, the game winning touchdown in the game. So, pretty solid all around there. Passing Ronnie Dobbs, thirteen of sixteen, one hundred ninety yards. He played great. Uh, other than that one bad interception, he played nothing to complain about from Ronnie. He's killing it on as quarterback. Uh, Angela four sacks, great there. Boom, yeah, Boom did nothing. <laughs> boom did nothing. And he's out there too. He is playing. He's he is on defense the whole time. I mean, he didn't even Jorge got a tackle. That is alright. Well, uh can't win them all. But a mere two interceptions as well, which is in very big uh and uh Jorge continues to be rock solid, kicking extra points. So we are now two and zero in the division in first place. So that is that is great to see. Are we playing the Patriots the next one? Yeah, we are. Going through our whole division here. So we if we beat the Patriots, we can be a uh, two-game lead over everyone in the division, which would be nice. So I'll take a look at the league leaders. Completion percentage. Ronnie Dobbs leading the league. I would have not expected that. Would not have expected that, but he is um he's been really solid, honestly. Like I'm I'm starting to kind of figure out his trajectory and you know, like how like how far in front to throw the football and he's he's actually not that bad of a quarterback he's really he's really not uh not we're not up there for touchdowns we're not i don't think we're going to be up there you know we're not uh using any power ups so we're not going to be scoring a ton of points um tw i think scoring in the 20s is about like probably the at most what we're going to get this year but still very, uh, very. I'll, I'll take the completion percentage. Rushing yards, we're definitely never going to be up here for your rushing yards. We do not like. We would, we would need like um, power ups to to get these, like sonic booms or leapfrogs or whatnot. Uh, fumbles lost. Billy Jean has two fumbles lost, so that's not a good thing to be up there. But at least it's not four like Cunningham. Uh, receptions. Gretchen eleven. She had seven in the last game. She, again, she's a very reliable option. That's Cindy Chang. She's on the Bears again. I don't know if we play the Bears again, but 
not looking forward to playing Cindy Chang. We have to play the Bears. She's a she's a problem in the last series. I expect there to be a problem in this one. She's already six touchdowns. Oh no. Uh, Hopefully we don't play them. I really hope so. Angel leading the league in tackles, and she's got six sacks as well. Anything about... And then Amir, two interceptions this past game. Jorge, perfect on the kicks. Yeah, so... Like I said, very happy, very satisfied with our uh, performance up to this point. Um, do we play the Bears? We don't. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm... I'm we don't have to worry about Cindy Chang unless we make it all the way to Serial Bowl. But yeah, another solid win for your Pigskins. Uh, 21 to 14 victory. I, I like the series more, honestly. I think this is more, you know, I like I like games that are more competitive. It's just, it makes it more interesting for me. I think it makes it more interesting for the viewers. So uh, not being able to use power-ups and also, you know, not having the greatest team definitely makes me work a little harder, think a little harder for these wins. So I think this should be a fun series. Hopefully we can cap it off with a Serial Bowl win in the end, but don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. But we are 2-0. Next one, we will be playing the Patriots and looking to go to 3-0. So, till then, catch y'all later.